It's Jesus time. It's Jesus time. It's Jesus time. Because you've been in your room most of the day, and you know, uh, I don't know what you're doing in here. Um, you're not even playing video games, and your sister says she hasn't heard from you all day. Well, yeah, it makes sense. She hasn't heard from me. I'm not talking to her. You're she, not. You're not talking to her. I'm not. Ta she's not my sister anymore. Whoa! Wait a minute. What do you mean she's not your sister anymore? She knows what she did. Well, I'm pretty sure she doesn't. You haven't spoken to her, so how would she know what, you, what she did? Whatever. So, you know? I was just minding my own business when I realized that my commander brain aquatic action figure was gone. And she You're, gave it away. Wait, wait, wait. Your commander brain action figure, you you have a commander, look, it's on the shelf right there. No, but there was one next to it, the commander brain aquatic edition. The aquatic edition. He has a harpoon gun, and he has flippers, and he has a rebreather. Okay, so you had two commander brain. Right. And one had a, a flippers and rebreather. Yeah. And she took it? Yeah. Well, well, I, I understand how that would make you angry. Um, have you said anything to her about it? No, and I'm not planning on saying anything to her about it. We never have to talk again. Wait a minute, what do you mean you never have to talk again? Okay, so, I wake up at 6.45 for school. She wakes up at 7. I can get up, use the bathroom, do all of my breakfast stuff, and then just get all my coat, get my bag, and she can do all that once she gets up at 7. Okay. So, we never even have to interact in the morning. The rest of the day we're at school, we oh. don't have to see each other, and then we only see each other at dinner and there's no reason to talk then. So you're really not going to talk to your sister ever? Never again. You're never going to bring this up? No. Well, that seems very sad to me. Um, maybe we should think about that and, and that approach. Um, how do you feel about uh, maybe considering this after we look at the first reading today? I mean, sure. All right, let's look at the first reading. The first reading is from the prophet Ezekiel. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. So hear the word I speak and give them the warning from me. When I say to the wicked, O oh, wicked man, for what you are doing, you will surely die. And if you do not speak out to dissuade him from his ways, then the wicked man may die for his sin, but I will hold you accountable for his blood. But if you do warn the wicked man to turn from his ways, and he does not do so, he may die for his sin, but you will have saved yourself. Well, what do you think? Okay, so what you're saying, or what I got from the first reading was that it's just as bad to say nothing as it is to wrong someone themselves. Yeah, it So I really it. should say something. You should. That's exactly it. When someone wrongs you, when someone does something wrong and you see it, God tells us that we should speak up, that we should have the courage to speak up and say something. Because if we don't, well, we're kind of contributing to that wrong. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll speak up. All right. Thanks. Good talk, Dad. Good talk, buddy. Wow, 
Wow, Miguel, you sure are working hard on something. What are you, what are you typing so fast and furiously? Well, I thought about the first reading and what you told me. Uh -huh. uh, you said that when someone does something wrong, you should say something. Right, right. So, I'm saying something on the internet. Rosie is a mean bully. She's the worst. She is a monster. She is my least favorite sister because she gave away my Commander Brain action figure and I will never speak to her again. No! You, no, you can't do that! But no, no. I'm getting my revenge. Sweet revenge. No! No, it's, it's not... You, you can't... That's internet bullying which is bad. You can't bully on the internet. And, and you sure can't use that photograph. She's not going to like that photo. It's not that embarrassing. It's pretty embarrassing. How but, old is she in that? Like but five? Dad, when you said that when someone sins, you have to speak up. It's in the Bible. It's, it's not. This, this isn't what I meant. Look, you know what else is in the Bible? The gospel. Today's gospel. I think... I think we better read the gospel, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you ready? If your brother or sister sins, go out and point their fault. Just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. But if they will not listen, take one or two others along so that Every matter may be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If they still refuse to listen, take to the church. And if they refuse to listen, even to the church, treat them as though you were an outsider. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you forgive on earth will be forgiven in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Wow, so the gospel doesn't say anything about sweet revenge. No, no, Jesus says when someone wrongs you, you do go to them and you talk to them. Uh, and if that doesn't work, he told the disciples that you go back and you bring a witness with you this time. And if that doesn't work, he told the disciples, then go to your church. Or, you know, in our case, we could go to a parent or we could go to a, a teacher or, uh, you know, to, to an adult. But the point that Jesus made is that you try over and over and over to make things right. Right. You know, what you forgive is forgiven and what you hold bound is held bound. Exactly. You know, and, and Jesus wants us to forgive. And that's, that's like really clear throughout the Gospels. In fact, this Gospel sits right between two other really important parables. The parable right before this one in the Gospel is the parable of the lost sheep, where Jesus talks about if you have a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, you actually go and you get that one sheep that went astray and bring them back to all the other sheep. Right? Because mm -hmm. Jesus wants us to bring everyone together. God is bringing us together, back together. Uh, and, and the parable right after this one is uh, called the parable of the unmerciful servant. And it also talks about forgiveness. Jesus tells the disciples that if someone wrongs you, you don't just forgive them. You don't just forgive them seven times. You forgive them 70 times, seven times. That's Over, a lot of forgiveness. That's so much forgiveness. And that's, that's where this reading falls. So yeah, you speak up if someone's doing something wrong, but it's because you're supposed to try to, to uh, find forgiveness and make it right. Not to condemn them, not to get revenge, not to punish them, but to love them and to bring people back together into the community. And, and, and that's what it is, it's really about. Right. You know what might help you understand this better? Is if we did a... No, actually, Dad, no role play this time. I know what I need to do. I'm gonna go talk to Rosie. Good for you, son. Hey, Rosie. 
Hey, you haven't been talking to me all day. What's up? I I have to be honest. I was really upset because I found out that you gave away my Commander Brain action aquatic adventure figure. And I really like that figure. And it made me really sad that you gave it away. And then I was like, man, I'm just not going to talk to you, right? Because I didn't want to say anything. But then we read the Bible and it said I should act. And so I may or may not have posted some mean stuff about you on the internet. That's not what? important. <laughs> then what? we read the gospel and it said that you should take action, but also, you know, you should talk to the person and you should try to forgive. So I'm here talking to you. I just wanted to let you know. Okay, I feel so bad. Okay, look, so I the only reason I took it was because the school was having a toy drive, and I don't have any toys. Uh, so I didn't have any toys to give them. So, and I haven't seen you play with, like, your uh, your action figure in, like, three years, so I thought you wouldn't mind. But it's totally my bad. I'm so sorry. I feel, ugh. No, I feel really bad. Okay, here, I got, I have money. You can totally, like, just take this. You can get a new one. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't know. That's my bad. You know what? You're, it's okay. You you know what? You're right. I haven't played with that thing in years. And, I mean, giving it to the toys drive, that's for kids who need it, probably more than I do. Take take your money back. I don't need it. I forgive you. Maybe let's give this to the toy drive. Hey kids, I wanted to speak to you about something else about today's readings. Now, Miguel and I showed you uh, why it's important to speak up and how you can do that when the person who wrongs you is your brother or sister or a friend of yours and why it's important to do that. But sometimes you see someone doing something wrong or someone is doing something wrong to you and maybe it's an adult or an older kid uh, and you might not feel safe going to that person and speaking up and telling them what they're doing wrong. So this is really important. If you don't feel safe, you should first go to a parent or another adult or a teacher and talk to them about it first. Because it's really important that you stay safe. You still need to speak up if someone is doing something bad or hurting you. But don't put yourself in danger. Make sure you involve another grown-up first. Thanks.